I have been a fond of these calibrated skulk sensors for a very long time, but the problem is I've never made a redstone build with them. And I think today's the finally the day I make something special with these. I've been plotting on making like a three by three piston door with this, but opening it with like a very specific combination or a very specific task to do to open this door. And normally I look up a tutorial on this, but I think I can challenge myself to make a piston door that opens through a very specific task using this calibrated skulk sensor. And this mountain is the perfect place to do it. If you don't know, a calibrated skulk sensor can basically take any normal input like normal. Like see me walking, this thing actually takes like my input like normal. Or if I do like something like this, any any sound, you know, it does it. But with this, you see this little this little indicator here. If I put a redstone signal here, you'll see me running around, jumping, doing all kinds of crazy stuff. It it doesn't activate it. And you'll see killing a mob adds power to it. So every power level has some kind of specific way that it gives power out if you, you know, put the other end at a certain power level. So I want to take advantage of that and try and make something very specific that you'd have to do for it to work. But first we need to make a way for there to be a door. Fun fact, I've never actually made a three by three piston door, but I know the basics of how they work. I'm actually learning on the fly how to make this work because I've never done it before. Okay, so now we need these, th these three pulled. All right, let's see how this works. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, it does that. <laughs> I know there's such thing as a double piston extender, but I don't know how that works, if I'm being honest with you. So let's learn how to make a double piston extender, shall we? This middle one is gonna have to be pulled from a different way. So if I do two pistons into a repeater, I need to then get power to this. If this updates, can I use an observer here to so like, maybe like a block here. Okay. Okay. So I found one issue. So it, it works like that, but once I want it to come back down from this position, this needs to come back up first. Maybe this needs to come out as an observer, not as a block. Like, if it comes out, like, here, and maybe... Okay, this is temporary. This is temporary. Please understand, this is temporary. Is there a face there? There is. Okay. Hey! I... <gasps> redstone! Redstone! Okay. Now our dilemma. Okay, maybe one of these other blocks cannot be controlled by this. I think the idea is to have a block come from the other side to like go underneath so that the piston can push it up. So like if the block is there, all right, I'm starting from scratch. All right, let's see if I remember this. So it's the repeater goes out at four ticks. I need an observer to see that with a block here so it can sense it. And then an observer here. This should. Okay, so this does do the double piston extend and pull. Ladies and gentlemen, it didn't work. Oh, I know why. I know why. I know why. Yes! 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 Okay, so now we just need to do... So if we pull this, we just need these. That's all we need. All right, all right, all right. I purely believe I can do these with some observers. Because I feel like observers 
and blocks and power is like like this is this should this should hypothetically be very very simple but of course why would it be simple all right so we just need these three powered this needs to come out to here because it's got to push or grab and pull if i use redstone dust because that'll update because of this and then an observer with another piece of redstone and then this is the last one so if we just do block redstone Okay, it's not powering this last one. I had it backwards. Ah! So now, ladies and gentlemen. Nice! Alright, well, we need the same thing here. Okay, we somehow need to have the same thing on this side so they happen at the same time. So, let's build the same thing and then we hook it up. So, observer, block redstone to power it i need something to light here to get this to do that all right so this is on a two tick delay so i need to have this one on a two tick delay um so i put a two tick repeater on the observer and then the stone same as the other side okay well Okay, Evan, you had it right the first time. It needs to go one more back. Oh my god, Evan, you're so stupid. Nice! Dude, that's so good. Okay, so now we only need one here. If I do this, it's going to power this thing, right? So what? Do I just go over it? Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, okay. Something happened here. What, what's going on with this? This is setting it off a second time. Okay, hold on. Okay, I need to somehow get the power up to here without powering the piston a second time. Okay, question time. Does this get power right here? No. All right, well, all this grass and dirt is going to be surrounding this and hiding it. Right? So, hypothetically speaking, we could have... Like that? Yes! The door! Hide the bl Hide everything. Hide it all. I don't want a single view of any of this. All right, let's make this look natural. Now that we, dude, now that we got it working, it's game time. With a little bit of terraforming and making things look a little natural. Nice. And we enter the house. Or secret room, whatever you want to call it. This only took me 40 minutes. By only, I mean it, it took 40 minutes because it takes... It took me a lot of work. But now, see, this is too obvious. Having a lever like this is too obvious. So let's get rid of the lever. How did that... Wait, how did that just work? Okay, so I can actually have this power come from there and it'll be okay. So, a couple of facts about this calibrated skulk sensor, okay? If you listen, you hear all these sounds, right? It's, it's obnoxious. It's obvious that something's happening. So, to prevent that, if you place down a calibrated skulk sensor and put water on top of it, so you waterlog it, you'll still get a redstone signal. So look, see? but you don't hear the sound, it's awesome. So I could connect it right here, but right now, every step I do, it would open the door. And also, I don't want the steps that I make, you know, cause the sound to do that. So if I look at this list on the wiki, I could do, what's something that you don't normally do? Okay, if I do, let me grab a barrel. If I grab a barrel 
and fill it with a good bit of barrels and actually do the comparator out from it so you'll see that the comparator will light up and power that power level six so i want this to be power level five perfect problem is i don't want it to be here i want it to be on the actual thing so if i do it like this then maybe now the problem is is it's not going into this thing and if i do this it it breaks everything. I need to somehow get the comparator redstone power to go into this block. How do I do that? Okay, what if I do a repeater to the block? No. Well, we know it can go underneath. So what if I go one more down? Okay, wait, that did it right here. That's power level four. Power level five, and this jumping no longer affects it. So then I could put a water thing here. Okay, so this is the minimum amount of items you need in a barrel or chest or something along the lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a little bit of stacks. Cause look, right now we're at power level five. If I get rid of a barrel, we're at power level four. So that's the limit you need in a barrel. We just now need that power to come out from the bottom of this thing so bam 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 right there should when we do the thing power it should whoo after all that mining and questing man i'm happy to be at my home look at this i got i got my wheat farm i got my stuff up here man i'm very i'm very i'm very happy of this base i gotta expand it some more but i do need to set my boy down so here you go you stay there for a sec. Let me put my goodies away. Whew. That would have been close. We don't want nobody dealing with that, okay? So, let's go back up here and smelt some of this goodies. I forgot coal. It's all done. Okay, so let me break it down for you. So, this barrel is pulling out power, a power level specifically of six, which if you don't know, these calibrated skulk sensors, if you give them a certain amount of power, they will only listen to certain sounds. And with a power level of six, according to the wiki, if you are mounting or interacting with a mob, then it will activate a redstone signal. So this donkey, if I interact with him, will open this door. So right here, I have a T flip flop, which just powers the door. So right now it's fully powered to keep the door closed. And it's a simple three by three piston door, which should not have taken me over 40 minutes, but it did. Some observers, this double piston extender is pushing the middle up, and then the power leads up with observers up to this piston here. And that's the gist of it. And this thing is waterlogged because if you don't waterlog it, you'll hear the skulk sensor sound. And if you waterlog it, it mutes it. So you won't even know that it's there if you make the noise. It doesn't just have to be a donkey. Say you have a cow farm, or for this example, a pig farm. If you're close enough nearby and you interact with a mob, the door will also open. Now, killing it or doing damage to it does not affect it at all. It's only if you mount a mob or interact with a mob. So me mounting this will then close the door. If I grab this and run off, I could do whatever. Nobody would know the difference. But once I come back and I interact with my mob, as you can see, it opens. So then I can do all this. I can get my golden apple out. I can run off, take this off, grab this, door closes, and you're off to the winds. And nobody would even know this is there. So like I said, very cool stuff. Opens the door, allows you to put the stuff in, and then you can actually close it by just getting back on him if you don't want to leave. Then you could store all of your loot away in the chest. That's not important. And all your important stuff is down here in your secret little area. I think that's a pretty cool way because you cannot hear the sound and you know, somebody would try to get your loot, you wouldn't even know that it's there. Also, if you wanna copy and paste this, I have a world down in the description or in my Discord, which is also down below. But I'm gonna take my Betsy and we're gonna get out of here. Thanks for watching.